Um, okay, I'm going to go in a completely weird direction here and ask you about extraterrestrials. Do you believe in such things? Extraterrestrial life, yes. yes. Uh, uh, that's a very interesting question. And uh, there's a, uh, a concept called the Fermi paradox. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, the, uh, the, that says if, you, if we expect that there's nothing particularly unusual about us, you know, we're on a middle-aged star and you know, there's a lot of older ones and younger ones and kind of a nondescript part of the galaxy and a nondescript galaxy, that if life is everywhere, there should have been civilizations that are you know, right. eons ahead of us. But uh, you know, Jill Tarter was, talked earlier that uh, uh, as we look into space, we don't see anything. And, uh, you know, we haven't looked very far, but uh, uh, if life is everywhere, how come we don't see it? Now, I know a lot of people that think they have seen it. I know people that think they've had rides in spaceships. Uh, most of them tend to be a little weird, uh, and they were weird before they had the ride in the spaceship. <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I, for one, don't see any evidence of, of intelligent life elsewhere. Uh, it begs the question of whether it's here, of course. Right. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but I do see evidence. We're, we're seeing tantalizing evidence of microbial life on Mars and other places, uh, and we are on the verge of, of finding that life. But one of the possibilities, and this is one that a number of folks involved in the long now have discussed, is that life or intelligence gets to a crisis where, in fact, it's called the singularity, where we see accelerating technology, particularly in information, biology. In fact, we're within probably a few decades of what some believe true artificial intelligence, that what happens to life is they become something else. In fact, maybe they leave the universe or they're not interested in communicating anymore. Uh, and, and that's one of the very interesting philosophical questions. In fact, we have an institute down at Moffett Field called the Singularity University that's starting to look at, uh, at uh, these kind of questions. So uh, I personally believe probably there was intelligence, it is elsewhere, and it very quickly passed through the phase we're in and is something else. Yeah, that's interesting. I've, I've I had exactly the same mm -hmm. thought. I'm, because it's always, you know, search for um, life as we know right. it, right? Some, and so, okay, we can look out and we don't see life as we know it. Can we imagine life as we don't know it? existing, having existing, and it's so not how, not as we know it that we can't even see it. It could be there and we can't even see it. Yeah, the word alien probably doesn't begin to describe right. what, uh, <laughs> what is likely out there. And uh, it's also a possibility that we are the first, which is an equally interesting and yeah. scary concept that, that life is rare and that for some random reason it happened here.